Welcome back to AI to some new files. My name is Jake. Last time we unlocked the route we are on. Talked with So and now we're confronting Mizuki about seeing seeing Alice's body. Which was what I think is Iris's real mom. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. Check some things. Uh, yeah, let's just talk to her. Mizuki is standing up. What you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. And we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here, but it looks like I was wrong. Where is Ota? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. Where is Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. It's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? It could be. So I need to know where he is. But... I haven't been able to get a hold of him. About Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. I told Mizuki about the frozen corpse we called Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Dutch. Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Dots. Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? About Alice. I told Mizuki everything. About how Renju ran off with the assassin 89. How 89 is connected to Sejima. And that Shima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. I could see agony in her face. The silence linger lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted her head and spoke. Tell you about Alice. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemnus Gate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself, and then... You saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris.
what did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. Did you talk to Renju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Was Mizuki ever with us at the... The warehouse place? Hmm. I wonder if she had or would have had any reactions if you investigate the forklift when she's with you. If she ever was there, I can't remember that. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. About Okura, blah blah blah, warehouse. I actually met with one of the higher ups at Daddy's company last night before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some and. I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. On paper... Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. Oh. Hey, Mizuki. How long was he managing the warehouse? Yeah, I thought it was the same question, but yeah, I bet it was. Dots. Dots. For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? Oh yeah, yeah. That they only knew that it was over 10 years. From that long ago? Yes. Dots, dots. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ey. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. A graduate of a Toku high school. Ah, uh, she. What? Renju was my classmate at Atoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I. I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ey, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Oh, I don't remember this one. Alice's... Monica. I only recognize the school name, but not the actual name. So I was starting to think. So like maybe Renju was the father, but why would so kill her then? If it was so who was the father, I could see motive for killing her. Tomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. 
But why? Monica's body was found just now, but even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Oh yeah, that's true. Dots, dots. Iba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Okay, so we're sinking. Roger that. Let's go, go, go. Tuesday, 5.08 p.m. Police headquarters. You're awfully calm. Dots. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Good thing it that that it doesn't give away all the cards right away. Shall I guess why? I guess we'll do it now. Uh let's look at this first. Her name is EY Monica. She has been missing for 18 years. She was 19 years old at the time she went missing. Monica, Hitomi Sagan, and Renju Okiara all attended Itoku High School. Monica's body was found completely frozen solid. Her right eye was missing. Her body shows multiple stab wounds from an edged weapon to the back of the torso. The cause of death was those stab wounds. The murder weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. She was also pregnant until just before her time of death. Actually, now that I think about it, it might not make sense for Shao to kill her just because she would have his baby because the baby survived and I guess so would know if she had or hadn't given birth, I guess. Monica's corpse was hidden under the hood of a forklift in Okiara Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. This warehouse has been under Renju's management for 18 years. Mizuki witnessed Renju checking on the corpse. This of course means that Renju knew about Monica. Because Monica's corpse is completely frozen, it is difficult to determine her time of death. However, her appearance appears to be unchanged from when she went missing 18 years ago. Thus, it is extremely likely she was killed around that time. So her baby would be... Just turning 18. Dun dun dun. Because that body isn't Iris, and you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Dutch. Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Dutch. Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime, illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Hmm. Guess it's this one? Guess. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. Well, this was a short one. <laughs> I already got the achievement. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now, and witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. Dutch. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ewai, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? 
I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Yes. Tell me. Tell me everything. Yes. Yes. Date, she's not going to talk. Yes. Sync with her. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please come back within six minutes. I can't promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't. Why not? You know why. Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes. But if it's only a little. No, not even a little. If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable. But what does that mean exactly? Dots. Dots. No. Not wanting to. Talk, my friends. Deep sleep from the set of tips. Yeah, let's start to these two. Let's start to you first. Peter seems aloof. Are you two hiding something? No. I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Dots, dots, dots. Uh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. Me? You know more about it than I do. <sighs> well... Okay, let's talk to you. Okay, I only have one option. Yes. Ask Pewter. He knows more about it than I do. Okay. Actually, let's look at you. This looks defeated. Peter looks troubled. What happens after six minutes of sync? Well, first off, six minutes is not a hard limit. It could be seven or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Further beyond. That's... That's... Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk, the yes. white, remains. Yes. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. Huh? And... There's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Oh. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. So this might be something that could explain. Could maybe explain the weird memories that it has. That should be 89 I guess. And he's memory loss thingy from six years ago maybe possibly dots 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 the human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit one brain can only hold one consciousness and it can only contain one person's memories Why did you keep this a secret? I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But 
Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. A Project Sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Even sinkers are on a need-to-know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sink, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The Sink machine isn't just for entering a person's Somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. Swap bodies. And there's a prototype machine in the in the district place. Kawa baba saki blah blah blah. Whatever it was. And you need an eye for that, Iris is eye. And you could swap bodies. If you are crazy enough. So could there be someone who has done that in one of these times? That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let the secret get out. Dots, dots, dots. Swapping bodies between two people? Trading minds? Oh fuck, I... You remember what I told you earlier? Deaths. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I couldn't talk to Peter. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Hmm. Understood. This comes as an at an awkward point. I think I'll do a short episode and do the sync in another one. So let's end here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.